Hey guys, it's me Noelle and welcome back to my channel. So today might be one of the most life-changing days for me in terms of my design artistic career. I made the purchase of a lifetime yesterday. I have always, always wanted an iPad and an Apple Pencil and I am so blessed and thankful to say that I, I got one. Yes guys, I finally made the plunge. Little bit of backstory. I'm currently an incoming fourth year design major at UC Davis and most of the design majors have some sort of tablet for drawing and illustrating. I would say 90% of people in my major own an iPad and an Apple Pencil. And I think for a really great reason because the iPad and Apple Pencil combination is just a classic. It's industry grade. And guys, I hopped on the train like I'm so excited. I do feel a little bit guilty because my heart has belonged to Wacom for the past three years. If you haven't seen my Wacom unboxings yet, go ahead and check those out. And I kind of compare the tablet to the iPad, but I've actually never owned an iPad before. I've just kind of borrowed my friends or tried them out at the Apple store, but I've never had my own. Today is the day. Before we get into the unboxing video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below if you have an iPad, what you like about it, and any tips you could give a newbie like me. Alright, let's get into it. I know there's probably hundreds and thousands of iPad unboxings on YouTube already, so this is nothing new. I think the iPad I got has been out for quite a while, but this is new for me. Like, I'm just so excited, so of course I had to film it. Here is the bag of glory. I purchased three things yesterday at the Apple store. The iPad Air, the Apple Pencil second generation, and a case because you gotta, you gotta have the case. Here she is. Yes, she's a girl. <laughs> this is the iPad Air. I actually learned a lot when I went into the Apple store yesterday. I didn't know there was so many models and I didn't really know which ones were compatible with a pencil, but luckily there are a million of those <laughs> Apple people walking around that can help you and answer all of your questions. So when you purchase an iPad, you'll have to make a lot of decisions along the way. So like size and type, and one thing that I found surprising was that you could choose between a Wi-Fi and a Wi-Fi plus cellular option. This is the Wi-Fi only iPad. It was the cheaper option of the two. But if you're looking to use your iPad on the go and not have to rely on Wi-Fi, I definitely recommend getting the cellular option too. So it's kind of like using LTE and internet, um, kind of like your mobile device. Wow, I sound so techy. I don't even know, like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I understood. I also got the 256 gigabytes there was the 64 gigabytes and the 256 gigabytes the one with less gigabytes is a cheaper option this is also the fifth generation ipad so yeah that's a little bit of background on the ipad i got i forgot to mention what color i got so they have five colors available they have the purple pink blue like space gray and starlight colors all gorgeous colors and in the store the one they had on display was a pink one but my heart was like pulling me towards the purple one even though i've never seen it before that's the only one they had in store that's the only one they had available so it was meant to be i'm gonna try to skip over the details as much as i can but i just gotta mention the tab like apple you're thinking ahead just pull it down and there she goes i've never seen the purple in real life so if i don't like the purple in real life that'd be funny Pull the tab. Guys, no way this is mine. No, I won't accept it. This is a fever dream. Oh my gosh. It's so sleek. I haven't even opened it yet. Okay, ready guys? Ready, ready for this? It's, I could cry. Like I literally, I'm gonna get emotional. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, in love with the purple. Sorry I ever doubted you, purple. You are perfect for me. Do you see this? This is a dream come true. Oh my gosh, look at this side. 
so yes guys this is i forgot to mention the size i forgot to mention the size but i'm pretty sure this is 12.9 inches so it says when measured as a rectangle the screen is 10.68 inches diagonally i'm not completely sure the one the model i got but i will clarify in the description because right now i'm having a moment and i can't think straight so yeah guys um basically my life is complete um i'm quitting youtube because i'm gonna spend all my time uh with this ipad so it's beautiful i'm not a techie person if you want to watch like an in-depth like with the detail like seeing all the details of the ipad and all its functions watch a tech channel because this is just my reaction this is just like me unboxing it i'm not gonna know all the specs or whatever so <laughs> please watch a very technologically advanced video for now enjoy this video i absolutely love how it's like almost 100 percent screen like there's just like half an inch margin of you know black but the rest is screen i love how there's no button amazing camera here camera here amazing purple design three dots here not sure what those are this is a microphone yeah this is a microphone lock a button here and then on this side volume buttons here okay amazing so do i turn it on okay it's a little shy it's not working okay just kidding you're supposed to do this i think yum oh my gosh it's saying hello it's meeting its owner i have to look my best <laughs> if it says it in filipino i'm throwing the ipad i'm literally gonna throw the ipad like across the room Okay, are you, are you gonna not be inclusive? Are you, do you not like Filipinos or something? I'm offended right now. I'm offended that you're not including Filipinos. I'm waiting, I'm, I'm gonna wait here. Come on. Okay, didn't do it. So good thing you didn't do it because I would have thrown you across the room. So we are going through the introduction steps. Okay, so it's, it's gonna recognize the other device here, here, here. Ah, whoa, how the heck? These devices are smart. How is that possible? What? Guys, it's like asking me to do a mini game. Okay, hold on, hold on. What in the world? That was the craziest thing ever. Okay, it may take a few minutes to activate my iPad. So I'm just gonna give her a few minutes to get used to me. I think she's a little afraid. Beautiful, guys, I'm in love. Look at, the, look at how thin it is. Oh, it's already done. It's already done, just kidding. Wow, touch ID, guys, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna set up touch ID. This feels like I'm in the future. Like I'm living in like, okay, okay, don't yell at me. I feel like I'm living in like 2090 or something. This is usually like when you get a new Apple device, this is what they do. Oh, add another fingerprint. Okay, yeah, sure. How do I do that? Okay, sorry, I know this might be boring, but I'm having the time of my life. I'm truly having the time of my life. I didn't expect it to be so light. It has some, you know, density to it but it's also very light like i feel like i can run with this like it's super portable oh yeah you can you can add my cards <laughs> it's being so personalized this is what i love about apple it's so streamlined like i'm not even using brain cells to think about how to set this up it's doing it for me wow i'm an ipad kid guys <laughs> thank you so much okay Oh my gosh okay yeah the background's not cute i'm gonna change it later but guys there she is there she is dream come true truly there's so many gestures and whatever that i've always wanted to try so there's obviously a lot i need to learn with my ipad ipad there's a lot i need to learn in terms of gestures and shortcuts and just like the best easiest most efficient way to use it and I'm gonna spend the next few weeks slash months learning that because I wanna be an expert. But moving on, the accessories. I think I wanna open the case first so I could put the case on the iPad and then I'll do the Apple Pencil. At the Apple Store, there are a bunch of colors. Um, actually, there weren't that many. <laughs> but there was this really cute purple one and I'm like, hmm, if I get the purple one and put it on my purple iPad, that's a little too much purple. So I went with a classic black. It is called the iPad Smart Folio. And I love this little easy to understand diagram. I also wanted to mention before I open my accessories that Apple gives a student discount. If you're a current or incoming college student, you get a discount. You get $50 off of your iPad purchase plus 
a $100 gift card. So in total, I got $150 off of this purchase because you're able to use the gift card right then and there. And I used it towards my pencil. So beautiful. So, wow guys, it's so smooth. This is crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna even lie. $79 for a case? Apple, you, you're crazy. Stop with that. But buys it anyway. <laughs> that's funny i don't know how to put it on but let's see it's magnetic oh i guess that was really simple <laughs> i'm like how is it gonna stay on but it stays on how is that possible there's some rare earth magnets in there or something i don't know okay uh, never mind worth 80 bucks <laughs> i just love how sleek it looks like look it doesn't even hug the sides and maybe that's a problem people have with it but i love i love that look the really amazing thing about this case is the iconic triangular formation that makes it so worth $80. So when I use um, the pencil to draw on it, it'll be easier to have it at an angle rather than flat on the table. So yeah, nice, wow. The next purchase I want to purchase is a matte screen protector because I've heard a lot about it in terms of drawing. It makes it smoother and just feels like it has that like paper feel without like the friction being too frictiony and whatever. I feel terrible. This video is jumping all over the place. Um, sorry that it's super unorganized. But one thing I forgot to show you was what else came in the box of the iPad. Of course, the stickers. I'm looking forward to the stickers. But this is how... So this is how the charging block and cable are packaged. Once again, as always, super sleek. Love you, Apple. And I read somewhere that this is like 20 watts or something. Yep, <laughs> I'm right. If you could see right here, it says it's 20 watts. The iPad can actually handle closer to 25 watts, like 23 to 25 watts. So you can change this if you want. Wow, that is the most techie thing I've said in this entire video. All right, guys, my camera is running out of footage, so I need to hurry it up a bit. But the last thing we're gonna open is the second generation Apple Pencil easy pull Ooh. i recently realized that the pencil is magnetic to the side of the ipad amazing where have i been like why am i just realizing this now another video i watched told me the difference between the apple pencils so there's two generations the first generation only works with like some ipads and the second generation is obviously more updated one big difference between the two is how they're charged this it doesn't have any like charging ports it basically charges on the side of your ipad the first generation one has a little like awkward little charging port um with like a cap that people lose and stuff so i just wanted to get the newest version this is the most expensive pencil i've ever owned another really beautiful thing about this is the flat side so one of the sides are flat and this is a side that sticks to your ipad but it also if you put it on a table it doesn't like roll around which i think is super genius bow, 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 bow. I've been really okay <laughs> this is amazing i cannot wait to use it let me just show you how it sticks on the ipad so this little thing right here, sorry it's not focusing, is where the magnet is. So you just, oh my gosh, can it, can it go the other way? Oh, oh my gosh, it, it's so sturdy, like I can like, wow. That was the most chaotic unboxing I think I've ever filmed. If you made it this far, thank you. This was truly just a candid, authentic reaction to something I have dreamed of having for so, 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 so long. And it's just such a dream to just have this in my hands and to know like I'm gonna make some amazing things with this. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I learn, how I use my iPad. If you want iPad related videos in the future, let me know in the comments down below. I have an incredible amount to learn on this. I am such a noob and a baby when it comes to iPad stuff. But guys, this day right here, this is the start of the rest of my life because I am so content and so happy and just so thankful right now. And if you have any tips for me on how to use an iPad, the Apple Pencil and Procreate, I would really appreciate it if you left it in the comments and helped a girl out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you and I appreciate your support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.